as you all know, penile cancer is a rare cancer in the U.S. with around 2,000 cases yearly uh, and uh, around 500 deaths per year. But the burden of penile cancer worldwide is much more significant. Um, and for this reason, this I hope that this uh, review uh, paper will help you kind of manage uh, these rare patients in your clinic. Hello, everyone, and I'm Jacha Hur. I'm one of the GU Medical Oncologists from Moffitt Cancer Center. I'll be discussing our review manuscript titled Management of Advanced Penile Cancer that will be appearing in the March 2021 um, edition of uh, the Mayo Clinic Proceeding. I'll be presenting this work on behalf of uh, our co-authors, Dr. Manish Kohli and Dr. Philip Spies. Um, this paper will go over the different risk factors for the development of penile cancer, including HPV uh, and other uh, causes, the epidemiology, um, and the initial presentation and the diagnostic workup. Uh, we will be looking also dissecting the different modalities uh, radiologically to diagnose and stage uh, penile cancer. Uh, with the most accurate way, we will be looking at the differences between the HCC 7th edition and the 8th um, when it comes to the staging of this cancer. After, after that, we will dissect the uh, treatment approaches for localized and locally advanced penile cancer, summarizing the data available uh, for the new adjuvant chemotherapy approaches mainly discussing the chemotherapy regimen that have been approved uh, over the past 30 years. Uh, also, we will be looking at data with new adjuvant uh, radiation patients uh, that for patients that are not eligible for new adjuvant chemotherapy. Um, we will be highlighting the impact trial that is uh, currently recruiting patients and it will be the first uh, randomized trial in this area of cancer and will help us uh, establish the standard of care for the treatment of these patients with locally advanced uh, penile cancer. We will also be uh, taking a deep dive into the different molecular studies looking at potential targets uh, for future targeted therapies in this disease. Um, especially looking at the history with chemotherapy and recently uh, published papers about targeted therapies in the relapse or refractory setting. And we will be also finishing this review article to provide you with an updated list of clinical trials that your patient will be eligible for to enroll on um, dividing them into immune therapy-based, HPV-directed therapy-based, and targeted therapy-based. Um, and I hope that this uh, review paper will be very helpful uh, for you managing your patients with this rare disease, both at the localized, locally advanced setting, and even the relapse setting, looking at potential available clinical trials to offer your patients in your clinics. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.